my name is Jackson, AKA the big unit. Some of you know me as the guitar repair guy. Some of you know me as the lead singer, guitarist, and songwriter for the heavy metal band Shatterbone. Some of you know me as an electrical educator. Some of you know me as the guy with the crazy guitar collection. Some of you know me as a diehard Raiders fan. For years I have worked on, collected, played, and spent all my free time around guitars. But now I am going to do something I have never attempted before. I'm going to build a guitar. Okay, so now to the backup workshop. Um, I, I don't keep the, the bigger power tools in the house. Mrs. Unit gets mad. So anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, so now uh, we're going to be cutting out the body shape and the head sock shape.
room on my table saw to get all of it um all right so after fighting with the scroll saw for a little bit I decided that maybe that's not the best way to go about this uh, I'm not having a lot of luck so I'm gonna try and trim some of this up a little bit here some of these extra pieces that I have um, now I, I know uh, some of the other guys use woodworking chisels um, you know being an electrician and stuff like that uh, all my chisels are impact chisel you know hammer chisels uh, so don't panic if you see me using a metal hammer on it because uh, my chisels are rated for that. They're not the fancy ones, but they still get the job done. So, but to start out, I'm just gonna 
clear up some of these pieces that I had uh, started out with the, the zigzag cuts to try and make trimming that inside a little more pleasant, if you will. Um, but unfortunately, it didn't work that way. So. Nothing a whole lot of sandpaper and a little bit of patience isn't going to fix. Sandpaper I got. Patience, not always. Uh, <clears throat> but I'm going to give it a whirl anyway when we get to that point. Um, I do have a, a sander on the way, uh, a nice drum sander, um, spindle sander slash belt sander. Um, so I'll be putting that to use when I get to that point. <sighs> but anyway, that's going to be probably the next video. I'm probably going to have to be calling this one here pretty quick just because of the fact that I'm starting to get a little bit frustrated. When I get frustrated, I get impatient. When I get impatient, things start to break and go wrong and it just doesn't get any better from there so um, but now I can do this and that gives us our first look at what we're gonna have here now, I, I still haven't decided on a bridge, um, kind of leaning towards a, a hip shot bridge. Uh, I have a Duncan JB and a Duncan Jazz for my pickups. Chrome. I'm going to go all chrome hardware on it. Uh, haven't decided on color yet. I, I have I have a ton of different stains. Again, thanks to Crimson. Um, so I'm not I'm not a hundred percent sure what I'm going for for color here yet. Um, I know their fallow blue is really pretty. Um, royal blue is nice. I, I'll be honest with you, I really like the pink. However, uh, I have an idea for that on a future build. Something I've had cooking in my mind for a long time that I've wanted to do with that. Uh, so I might, might save the pink for a later date for that other idea. Um, green, I don't know, the, the Stunning Spirits green is a little more of an aquamarine green where their lime green vibrant stain is really, really sharp. Um, I saw Ben do one a little while back where he started out with a black base, sanded it back, and then did the green, and that looked really sharp. Um, their sky blue is really nice. Kind of a fan of blue if you haven't been able to tell. Uh, there is also an aquamarine stain. But then I've also got a couple of reds. Crimson red, cherry red. Um, yellow. I don't have a yellow guitar. I got 35 guitars. I don't want a yellow one. Um, so, I don't know. Maybe I'll go that route. I'll just make this guitar everything I don't normally like. So, how about that? Um, amber, orange, brown. So yeah, I got lots of options here that we can uh, we can pick from when the time is right. That royal blue is leaking a little bit. I better store that one up right. Maybe I'll do 
Maybe I'll do a short video where I take some of these off cuts and practice with a couple of different colors and then take votes from all two of you that watch this. So anyway, <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. But anyway, I guess that that probably is going to wrap it up for the first video. I don't feel like I've spent a whole lot. How, how much time do I got on the clock there? Well, we paused it and... Yeah, I know. And some of it's going to get cut out too, but... We have 436 minutes left. It doesn't tell you how many minutes it's, it's accumulated? It starts over every okay. time you pause well, it. Well, whatever. Um, hopefully we'll... Hopefully we'll have something more than five minutes of usable material when we get ready to put it up. Um, but yeah, I think the next step I'm probably going to tackle on this uh, I will get laid out the routing that's going to go on here as far as where the pickups are going to be mounted, where the bridge is going to be mounted. Um, the bridge isn't going to need routing. Uh, the control cavity, I still have to figure out what I'm going to do for controls. Uh, for those of you who know me, you know I, I work on guitars a lot. Uh, I've done some pretty crazy wiring things before. I just... Uh, not that long ago, rewired a BC Rich bass that had about the most intense, obscure wiring method I've ever seen in my life, and I got it to work. So, um, yeah, who knows? We'll see. I might, I might keep this one simple just because, you know, again, first time build stuff like that. I don't want to, I don't want to create more obstacles than I have to, but. We'll see what happens. Anyway, uh, if you watch, thanks for watching. You know the drill. If you watch YouTube videos, click like, subscribe, send me money. What do you know? Don't send me money. Uh, all right. Thanks a lot. Take care, folks.